One of the things that I try to do with this channel is to bring like informative videos that bridge the gap between starting out as a photographer and working professionally as a photographer. And one of the ways that I've tried to do that on this channel is to bring things like interviews and behind the scenes with other photographers who are professionals in their field and have you know, really distinct, unique ways of working or have achieved like really interesting things or just create work that I really enjoy. One of my favorite photographers over the last few years who has been featured on this channel before is a photographer called Alex Masik. I was lucky enough to shadow Alex a couple of years ago and make a video on my channel all about him and his shooting process going behind the scenes on one of his shoots. It was the first video that I did in that style on the channel and you guys seem to really like it. And so since then I filmed and released a couple more with different photographers. But recently Nanlite reached out to Alex and I and suggested that we maybe make another video using their products. So in today's video, we're gonna go behind the scenes on a recent collaboration with Alex and Nanlite. Nanlite is also a brand that I've spoken about on this channel before. I love their equipment, I love their lighting, and I really do believe that they create some powerful tools to make both images and video with. We also put out a video on Nanlite's channel, so if you wanna check that out, I'm gonna link that in the description. That video is gonna be more focused on the actual lighting techniques that Alex used. This video may be a little bit more on his shooting style, how he engages with models, etc. But I will link the video that we did with Nanlite in the description if you wanna check that out as well. A big thank you to both Alex and to Nanlite for having me in for this project and for also allowing me to share this shoot with you guys. I will link Alex, Nanlite, and the amazing team that Alex had on this shoot in the description if you want to check them out. But I won't say much more, let's get stuck into the video. I'm going to shoot mostly on film, so okay. the digital is just to kind of get you warmed up, some right. a little bit of the flow, and then it's a little bit slower, but I'm sure you're used to it with other photographers. Three. Bring the chin up just ever so slightly, down a little, a little bit more, down, 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 right there, yep. That's it. Let's see the sky again. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Wait, still. There we go. Three, two, one. Okay, coming in closer. Oh, we lost the clip again. Hey guys, I'm Alex. Um, here today at Shutterhouse Studios shooting a wonderful project with a great team here, um, focusing on using all sorts of different lighting setups, specifically focusing on the Forza 300B2, um, which is a, a product that Nanlite sent over our way. Really excited to test it out and do some cool lighting setups. Uh, we have a great gaffing team here, Adam and Kenneth behind me. Okay, here we go. That's really nice, yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, and then one where you kind of have your chin up a little bit, like extending the chin, yeah, a little bit lower. Right there, that's perfect. Three, two, one. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a bit further back again. That's it, perfect. Three, two, one. You. So what we were just doing there, um, we are using the new projector attachment from Nanlite on the Forza 300 B2 to create some shapes with the models, um, backlighting it a bit with gels, but then using this as the kind of like key spotlight um, to bring out the front of the model. And then there's a bit more dramatic shapes around the clothing and um, just a really nice change up from the first where it was a bit more going towards the white standard backdrop. Um, I really love playing with shapes and colors when I'm shooting and um, Adam and Kenneth did a great job of like sorting out a way to bring out that kind of shape of the first look that we just shot. Could we maybe um, direct it a little bit more so that Patricia can move back and that there's a bit more space for me to do like the full body, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because otherwise it's a bit cropped. Yeah, that's better. Just feel free to move around a bit. This is all digital, so some experimentation first, get you warmed up. 
Increase in the shoulders. Nice. Great, yeah. Okay, cool, all right. Okay, sweet, here we go. Nice. Yeah, that's great. Tilt back a little while you hold that. Yeah, hold that, hold that. That's great, amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, just tilt into the light a bit again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that roll's that done. Yeah, um, could I get you to sort that out while I... So that one goes in like, like this. Okay. And then you just pull it forward right there. Yeah, that's it. This is my first time working with a ballet dancer, actually. So it's really interesting to see how like your motion, your range and everything, very different. Yeah, I know, I know. But for the other one, I'm sure we'll get to see it more. Okay, let's see. So for this one, let's do one with a bit more straight on, just because this is a bit slower of a camera, but. That's great. Chin down a little bit right there. Perfect, yep. Three, two, one. Amazing, okay. I'm gonna need to swap that. That. Thank you, bro. Okay. Let's try that again on this camera. Leaning back just a tiny, right there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Three, two, one. Beautiful. And again. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, switching cameras again. And one more time. Doing great. Doing great. Okay. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Might move this a bit closer. Okay, and again. Yeah, right there. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, if you were bringing the hands kind of back like that on both sides. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Yep, yeah, sure. Amazing. Three, two, one. And one more. Hold that. Framing right. And right there. Three, two, one. Nice from the top. Yeah, top down. Yeah, should we do like a silhouette top down kind of thing? What, just from the top though? Yeah. And then, ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, now you can see the red. That's, that's nice. So for the next lighting setup, we're going to experiment with some backlighting. Uh, we're using a mix panel on the top, bringing down onto Patricia and creating silhouettes. Um, because she is a ballet dancer, she can move really effortless, effortlessly, excuse me, um, and create some really interesting shapes. So we wanted to try something different out that really highlights the, the shape of the arms especially. So we have the Forza 300B to uh, backlight the backdrop itself and create that shadowy effect that we're looking for um, on the model. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, that's that roll done. Yeah, and then you're kind of like leaning back a little. Yeah, arching the back. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Sorry. Okay, and three, two, one. Beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, if you, whatever is comfortable, I guess. We'll, we'll go quick. Uh, that's nice, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Amazing. Okay, that roll is done. Bring the, the top arm up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right there. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, you can come back up. Nice. Um, what else? How many shots do I have left on this roll? Three shots. Something in that red, yeah, that's cool because there's a more red popping off there. <laughs> um, nah, that's tricky. Hold on, oh, no, that's good. Three, two, one. Yeah, hold that, hold that. Three, two, one. Awesome. Yeah, really cool. Like that, yeah. Let's see how that looks. That's really nice, yeah. And bring the hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit more towards me though, so I can see your face a bit better. Right there, yeah. Three, two, maybe from a bit further back. Yeah, that's it. Three, two, one. Okay, cool.
Nice. Going well so far. So far. A little bit slower. Sorry, getting the settings right is a bit tricky. Bear with me. That's it. Okay. 40, 13. Are you good to go again or do you need... Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me just frame it upright and go for it. Okay. And last one and go for it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's it. Great. And a little bit slower now, same motion again, yeah. That's it, yeah. You. Or even sitting maybe, like if you're if you're like this. Let me try on the digital. See how it looks. Let's see. I mean if there's a fall off, it's fine. That's what it looks like right now. Fill it in slightly if you want with that. With the top light? Yeah. Yeah, we could try it. See? Give it a shot. Could you go back to that pose you were doing before? Right there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I like it. I mean, I think it's nice. Yeah, you can definitely still see it. Yeah, it's fine then. Okay. This camera. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So on the last lighting setup, uh, which you just saw, uh, we had the Forza 500 with the projector attachment um, as the key light, and then the two 60s on each side as rim lights, as well as the 300 B2 onto the backdrop to create some, some depth and light up the, the background. Playing with shapes, Lisa had made a piece uh, to glue onto the body, so it was really wonderfully sculpted, and we wanted to kind of showcase that um, artistry with some really dramatic lighting. So that's a wrap. Thank you to the wonderful team. Uh, we had a great day shooting today. Uh, lots of amazing stuff coming from this. Really looking forward to printing it. And big thank you to Nanlite for sending the products. Uh, really enjoyed shooting with the lights, especially the Forza uh, 300B2. Really enjoyed it. The projector attachment gave us loads of possibilities for um, refining the light and really making sure it hit exactly where we wanted to during this whole um, process today. And yeah, much love to everyone who took part in this.